would definitely make a way higher in the outside tag division, possibly earning a title shot somewhere down the line oh, if they I can keep it up. Oh yeah, I have no doubt. As the Tomaselli boys, the Iron Saints have uh, graciously opted out to be the first team involved in this matchup here. That's maybe that's an Anthony Legato trick. I mean, Legato's been ex exceedingly critical of his Iron Saints, the Tomaselli boys. Very, very critical. Actually, probably perhaps the most uh, critical manager, you might say, in pro wrestling of his hires. He, he wants only the best for this team, and he doesn't think the team, as of this moment, is quite championship material, but he, he's working on it as best they can, and, and the Tomaselli boys are feeling quite a bit of pressure out of my telling you. Well, Legato has a wealth of experience, knowledge passed down to him by one of the all-time great technical wrestlers, the Iceman, Dean Malenko, and Anthony Legato. No slouch himself, championship gold in WCW, in ECW, in NWA wild side. He came very close, but he's yet to attain that. Boy, and Legato hopping up on that apron with some words for Nick Halen. The fiery Italian. As you see the temper of Anthony Legato, and if you've noticed, the more critical he is of the Tomasellis, the Iron Saints improve each week so he's definitely teaching him something here yeah, he's I'm definitely he, he sees them as the future dominant tag team of nwa wildside he says it's just a little bit of time so now and, not, and apparently a bit of a legato seasoning for lack of a better term i'm i'm kind of surprised why he was sharing words with nick halen of all people and nick Wait. halen and cool seth delay now in the ring two very exciting junior heavyweights very explosive athletes can hit you from all angles very solid fundamental wrestlers as well that's cool, Seth Delay, the leg sweep taking him down. He's got the leg grapevine. Now bridging over into a submission maneuver. Boy, that's it. that grapevine one nearly, nearly ripped out the cartilage out of the knee of Nick Halen. Seth Delay has him hogtied. Tag bait into the wild side, junior heavyweight champion, Fast Eddie. And incidentally, I mean, the first team that gets the victory in this matchup is the team that wins the matchup. Yes, one pinfall to a positive finish. So frankly, the Tomaselli brothers not being involved in this match, if there's a pin that takes place, they would in fact have lost the match without having participated in it. So in other words, you have three teams who need to be paying close attention at every possible second. Yes, this is competition at its highest level because all these guys want the same thing and they're gonna have to go through each other to get it. And don't be caught napping, friends. So only the strongest and most deliberate, most contained, most well-rounded team will survive. It pays to be alert, especially when you're a three-way tag matchup. Oh, well, good heavens, a picture-perfect dropkick. Let's make that a pair, and the Wild Side Junior Heavyweight Champion, and what you see in stars, and in comes the most sensational athlete, one of the most of all time, I would think. Certainly at NWA Wildside, Jay Fury. Very tremendous, the team of Ian Halen has gone very far in their short tenure. And they'll only ascend higher, beautiful, a beautiful a pity combination there by Fury. Such an unusual pity combination, Mike Posey wasn't even prepared for it. And Mike Posey's always prepared for a pin. And in what comes Sal Tomaselli, one half of the Iron Saints. Oh, big, big elbow leveling Fast Eddie. I thought for perhaps there might be a little bit of cooperation between the Iron Saints and two of the three guys that totally rule. Well, so much for that, cooperation ain't gonna win you any favors in this match. Well, Anthony Legato has made it clear that the Iron Saints are out for number one. That was a very vicious forearm well, on behalf of Sal Tomaselli as brother Vito is tagged into the ring. Drop down, nasty clothesline. The Iron Saints showing an, with no doubt as to why Anthony Legato believes they just might be the future of tag team pro wrestling. And wiping the eyes of Fast Eddie across the top rope, which is something I've seen Fast Eddie do to some opponents of his. So there's a right. reversal by the junior heavyweight champion, goes for a clothesline, but Vito Tomaselli out of the way. Fast Eddie catches him there. Brings him down, spins him all the way around into a backbreaker. And the junior heavyweight champion back on the offensive. Kind of showing you why he's junior heavyweight champion. 
even with the absence of Salvatore Renaro, which has put quite a spring into my step today, I don't mind telling you. Oh, big, big clothesline, and, and Vito Tomaselli is checking to see if he's got all his teeth. And Anthony Legato pacing the floor like a tiger, not at all impressed with what is happening at a ringside. And Fast Eddie decides to slap Nick Halen, despite the fact the legal man, Vito Tomaselli, is still in the ring. The rationale for this is what? It's an opportunity for Vito Tomaselli, that's what it is. Off the top rope goes Fast Eddie. Vito Tomaselli sends Halen off. There it goes, flying onto the men that totally rule. And Sal Tomaselli heading up to the southwestern corner of the ring. Up for the perch, there he goes. And the brief bit of cooperation from Nick Halen and Tomaselli is all but lost. And here comes Jay Fury perched up on the top turnbuckle. About to witness the firing of a sensational missile. Here it comes! Good heavens! Jay Fury absolutely obliterating Fast Eddie. Cool set delay. And Sal Tomaselli. Oh, Vito Tomaselli really pulled the wall over Nick Halen's eyes there. Lulled him into a full pitch of security and cooperation and stabbed him right in the back. Name of the game here if you want to win. Can't really fold him. Yes, Rugby stabbing in the back is probably a very good strategy in this three-way matchup. The first pinfall results in the end of the matchup. Nasty clothesline by Sal Tomaselli. I think Legato is a little bit more pleased with the efforts now of the Tomaselli boys. As one half of the iron saying Sal Tomaselli sending Nick Halen's head hurling into that top turnbuckle. Riding up Nick Halen, but Halen firing back here. The Chopathon won by Sal Tomaselli. Sal Tomaselli proving to be the more stout individual in that circumstance. Back suplex, two count. And interestingly, Anthony Legato directing traffic, instructing Sal Tomaselli to tag Fast Eddie. I'm trying to figure out Legato's strategy here, perhaps. Oh, good night, nurse! Fast Eddie driving both knees into the small of the back. And then applying the pressure for the submission hold. Vito Tomaselli in quickly to break that up on behalf of his Iron Saints tag team. And Legato trying to share some words with uh, Jay Fury. Fury is not even paying attention to Legato. Very smart pin attempt from Nick Halen. I'll be in a brief one. Nice sunset flip there, but Fast Eddie read him like a book and manages to take Halen down with a vicious lariat. Cool Seth DeLake, spectacular young athlete. I think uh, Seth DeLay's the biggest fans believe he just might be the next AJ Styles one of these days. I'm on Seth DeLay, although competing for a number of years here at Wildside, fairly few years that is, is still in the infancy of his career if he stays good and healthy. A spectacular athlete indeed. As Cool Seth has gotten Nick Halen I've up in the really most unfortunate position. Wait a minute. Halen shoving him off, but Seth DeLay. Credit to his athleticism, lands on his feet, comes right back up for more. And now has him this time with a superplex. And that really did some damage there. This could be all. And well, both Jay Fury and Sal Tomasilli in the break up that pin attempt. And that's what makes it difficult to get the victory in this type of matchup. There's so many people on each side of the ring. And three teams wanting to win. It looks like you're going to have to rely on another uh, strategy, confusion. And of course, the famous element of surprise as Fast Eddie a scoop and a slam on Nitro, Nick Halen. Oh, I get the impression Jay Fury wants to get involved in this matchup. What do you say? You are correct in that. The rules of this type of matchup really turn it into a psychological battle. Oh boy, Jay Fury wants to clean Fast Eddie's clock in the worst way. I'm sure Fury will get his opportunity. 
We certainly hope that he will. But you certainly do not want to discount the Iron Saints lying in wait. Oh, good night. Nitro Nick with a bit of a counter. Not sure he fared even as, as well or as poorly as Fast Eddie in that. Nitro Nick out of nowhere. Nick Halen. Nicky Halen has got to get the tag here. Will he do it? Yes, he does. He does. Success. The sensational Jay Fury. Fists are flying. And Cool says the is going to wonder if his head is still on his neck. Jay Fury give it Seth That's Delay. Okay. Good heavens. Jay Fury landed on his feet. I haven't seen that since. Mugging. Have not seen that since Dog Furnace a number of years ago. Oh, and all the way to the moonsault. That was beautiful, but wait a minute. Sal Tomaselli quick to break that up. As well he should. Sending Fury out in a heartbeat. Three hungry tag teams. It's broken down to a frenzy. The Iron Saints block the collision. Out of the way, Sal Tomaselli goes out of the ring. Vito's in, though. He's got it. Double underhook and a suplex. And Vito Tomaselli got cool set. Oh, only a two count. Fast Eddie in the break it up, but cool set still managed able just to roll his shoulder. Not convincingly, but good enough. Fast Eddie making sure Vito Tomaselli does not launch himself off that top turnbuckle. I think now Fast Eddie wants to do the launching himself. Takes a tumble. Uh oh. Fast Eddie's got him up. Could be the Fast Eddie. No. No, it's not. Nitro Nick Halen going to the second turnbuckle. What the heck is he doing here? Got the mass of humanity what on the top turnbuckle. What are these guys doing? The hell is going on? Get out. Oh, good grief. I don't think it's what Nitro Nick had in, intended. Well, I just don't think Halen had the leg strength to pull that off. And that was a rookie mistake by Nick Halen. But still didn't do Fast Eddie and Vito Tomaselli any favors at all. Oh, no, the result was, it was a catastrophic one, definitely. Hey, you take your chances, and sometimes you have to pay the price. And if you can do some damage to your opponents in the attempt, it might be worth it. And now we'll, we'll delay sneak away with this one. It looks like it. No. Cool set sneaking like a snake in behind Jay Fury. But Cool Seth is already fatigued by action going on here. I tell you. Whoa! Lightning speed into an inverted DDT counter. I think Mike Posey is the most, uh, about to pin attempt from Cool Seth on Jay Fury. Only two. The and opportunity, Seth Delay goes for the pinning combination there. Boy, but Jay Fury's not ready. I tell you, Mike Posey is a remarkable man. He must know who the legal men are at all times, and I have no clue. Spinning him all the way around. There's the J-Trix, and it ends of Fury. And set the Lego sailing into Sal Tomaselli. Wielding the knockout blow, but no, there was a but tag made. That qualifies as a tag to referee Mike Posey, and the, he would know. The Iron Saints thinking on their feet. Anthony Legato's tag team expertise coming into play here. Hey, let's not that discount the efforts of the Iron Saints here, too, as Jay Fury. Here they are on the top, the Iron Saints getting ready to put concrete shoes. Mother forget about it. And the Tomaselli brothers emerge victorious here tonight. The winners of the match, the Iron Saints. Vito and Sal Tomaselli with a very convincing victory. Boy, I tell you, so much action. And yet some of that confusion, the elements of surprise as we talk about ad infinitum here. And of course, the tag team experience, the pro wrestling experience of Anthony Legato came up trumps here tonight. Boys, let me just get one thing real clear. Call me Anthony. All right, Anthony, listen real close. We came a long way to be here. And yes, we did beat the team that embarrassed us four weeks ago. But that don't mean a lot to me. Because just beating somebody like that is a one step on the ladder. What do we want in this business? The tag team titles. We're going to stay. How are we going to get it? We're going to win. We're not only going to win. 
very close to They're going to destroy every team that comes in on And whether you like it or you don't like it, I don't give a mother.